Hey everybody, Mike here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. Today's video, we're pouring a garage slab. This slab is 30 feet by 28 feet. It's got two small trench drains in it. You can see the guy right there checking the height of one of the drains. So we're going to pitch the floor two different ways to each one of those drains. We're back in the truck in now. We got two trucks coming this morning. Got about 20 yards of concrete here. This is a Saturday morning we're pouring this. We're finally getting some good weather. We did the house slab already, so now we're butting the garage slab up to the house slab. I don't know if you can see over there where the house slab is. They're snapping chalk lines right now. We drilled and pinned into that house slab with rebar, so both these slabs get pinned together. They're just two different heights. The garage slab is four inches lower than the house. We're getting that first truck backed up there. We're gonna mix him up to about a six inch slump. We're using the 3500 PSI concrete. We also, we always put a mid-range water re reducer in our mixes. This allows us to pour a little bit looser slump without adding any extra water. So it's kind of like pouring a three or a four inch slump, but it feels like a six with that water reducer in it. We do that with all our floors. It comes, when you order concrete from this company that we're using, it actually comes with that mid-range water reducer in it. We don't have to ask for it. Now, if we want to pour it looser than a six, then we got to ask for a high-range water reducer. And they'll charge us about three to four extra dollars per yard for that. Yeah, we're getting that first truck starting to pour it out. We had to use a cold chute there to start with because it was quite a pull to that back. Now we use a smaller one. That's an 8-foot chute. First one was a 12-foot chute. We're using all our Marshalltown tools here too. My mag, my my rakes, or my come-alongs there, straight edges, all, all Marshalltown tools. You know, hey, Marshalltown gave me a special deal for you guys. If you guys are ever need any tools, you can go. I have a link down in the description for Marshalltown. And if you use the coupon code EAC when you check out on their site, they'll give you 10% off and free shipping. So that's a pretty good deal. As you can see, we're getting that first truck poured out now. In case you guys don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors. So we specialize in slabs like this, pouring floors inside our foundation walls. We do a lot of stamp concrete, a lot of stained concrete, uh, mostly all flat work, a lot of concrete repair. So that's what my channel's about. If you like that kind of stuff, go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. I'm making a pad there with a laser, so I got my grade stick with a receiver on it, and I'm setting the height in between those two drains for our floor. We wet pad everything and we kick screed stuff. Sometimes we'll use a laser screed, but we, we definitely don't use a vibrating laser screed on a floor that has a pitch with drains in it like this one. We'll just kick screed it. That way we know all the slopes are perfect. We also set up, in Maine here, we set up a lot of slabs like this. This, this slab has 2x12 forms for the outside, and then it's got 2 inches of styrofoam everywhere under it and up the edges. It's got a matter rebar in it, that's number four rebar, that's two foot on center. And then it's got radiant heat tubes in it also, so it's going to be a heated slab. The house was the same way. We do a lot of these radiant heated slabs here in Maine. We've got pretty harsh winters here from December to March. So we get a lot of frost in the ground, so we got to protect these slabs from heaving. So we're getting that first bay kick screeded, bull floated. Got that first truck dumped out. Now we're on to the second truck. You can see that's me there, bull floating. 
I like doing a really good job both of them. It makes finishing the slab a lot easier. So we really take our time to both float. Yeah, we're pouring that concrete out. You can see a six inch slump is a really good workable slump. It's not too dry, so you're not killing yourself. And it's not too wet, so it doesn't hold a slope. Those drains are about an inch and a half lower than the outside form, so that'll hold that slope really easy. See, I'm straight edging that little bit by myself, kick screening that. Those guys working for me, they've been doing concrete a long time. If you guys, how many of you guys pour on Saturdays? If you pour on a Saturday, go ahead and leave me a comment down there in the description. And say, yeah, I pour on Saturday. And let me know how many of you guys actually pour concrete floors. If you pour floors, leave me a comment down there that said I pour floors. If you don't pour floors, leave me one that says I don't. And then if you'd like to learn how to pour floors like this, you got to let me know. I got, I do have a concrete slab course where I teach you how to form and pour a concrete slab just like this. There'll be a link for that down in the description if you want to check that out also. I go and I give you all the details, all my little tips and secrets about how to form and pour a concrete slab. So if that's something you're thinking of doing on your own, that's that's the course for you. Yeah, now we got over half of this thing poured out. I'm scraping the chute down. As you can see, I'm climbing up the chute. Getting all the concrete out of it. We don't want to waste any. And we got that last little piece we got to do. This is how we normally screed. Two of us, one on each side, just kicking and going. And if you got a good guy raking the concrete, you know, usually don't have to stop. He has a pretty good eye, so he gets the concrete pretty close. And we're coming down one side of that drain right there. Now I'm checking the drain. We always check them, make sure they don't move. So I put my two foot level on it, making sure that's perfect. Now we're gonna get that last that last bay poured out. You can see Darren jumped on the bull float now. With with my crew, we all know what to do. Everybody does everything. There's, there's no one thing that somebody does. Everybody's really experienced. So when something needs to be done, someone just grabs a tool and does it. There's no telling anybody what to do. We just We just like to get things done and get them done as fast as we can. So this slab will end up being power trialed, nice and smooth. Darren will stay here all by himself with that blue truck you see in the background. We got three power trials on that thing. He'll probably just use one to do this, a 30 inch. Just use a small one. He's a good finisher, he's one of the best around. This has two garage doors in it also. When we when we go to finish these slabs, we always taper those garage door entries a little bit out. Probably down about a half inch and in about eight inches. So when the garage door sits on that taper, if it rains and, and rainwater hits the outside of that garage door, it will always run outside the slab, not in the slab. Who else who else watching here pours slabs like this let me know if you if you guys form and pour slabs like we do I'd like to know who, who else does it out there I'm sure a lot of you other guys in these colder states do slabs similar to this also most of the slabs we do have 12 inch thick edges like this one does and they're about six inches thick in the middle 
years ago, I mean, I've been doing this 39 years, years ago, back in the 80s and 90s, these garage slabs, we just poured them two by sixes, you know, they were just six inch thick slabs. Rarely did we ever have thicker edges, but now the, our state, which is Maine, their building codes require us to do at least 12 inches and put the styrofoam under it. It doesn't have to be heated. The building codes don't require that, but it does require the thickness in the styrofoam. Yeah, we're going to get that last bay done and then Darren's just going to have to sit here and wait for it to dry so he can power trowel it. Well, again, guys, if, if you know, you're interested in any of these tools, Marshalltown, Marshalltown left, left a great deal for you guys down in the description. Just click on that Marshalltown link. You can go to their website, check out their tools. If there's anything there you like, when you check out, just type in EAC for the coupon code and you'll get 10% off plus free shipping all from everything about concrete.com and then if you want to learn how to pour and finish and set up a slab like this I'll have my course down there for you just go ahead and check that out And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, guys, go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. Hit that little bell notification, too. That'll I'm coming out with a couple videos a week. Usually come out with one on Monday at 9.30 in the morning and Friday at 9.30 in the morning. About all the different things we do. We do pool decks. We do sidewalks. Slabs like this. Concrete floors. A lot of stamp concrete. Uh, a lot of staining. We do a lot of epoxy floors too. If any of you guys want to learn about epoxy, you know, leave me leave me an uh, epoxy down there in the comments, and I'll start posting some more of those videos. We do a ton of epoxy floors. We do a lot of concrete crack repair too, floors and walls. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.